What's up, YouTube? You're very welcome. A married woman recently gained widespread attention on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter when she shared advice on how to wed a successful man. It was really easy. All that needed to be done was for somebody to approach her, Hey, I saw that you have a pretty ring on your finger. How did you obtain the man that you have and the reason? It wasn't because they were taking notes. Rather, it was because they didn't agree with what she had to say that caused it to become viral. It's time to stop wasting time and get down to business. So hand over your ring, and while I'm waiting, please tell me what you do for a living. Oh, I adore my hubby, and thank you for that insightful response regarding how you managed to land that enviable job. Well, I improved as a person, I got more feminine, and most shockingly, I became more submissive. That, my friends, was the key. What advice would you give to other women who want to be housewives? Embrace the role. You can't acquire this job in the public or private sector because you need a male to hire you for it. But that's okay because it's still a real job. If you really think about it, you probably submit to your boss at your retail job, which makes you clean stupid shelves, right? It's like, wouldn't it be better if you were cleaning your own shelves at home? And what I mean is that you're in a situation where your boss wants to sleep with you in a positive way. And how do you get introduced to these men? Well, I believe that women should get jobs working for the men that they are interested in dating. I know that sounds insane, but it's actually extremely straightforward to do, especially if you think about it like you want a lawyer, which is right. If you want to work in a legal field, you should become an administrative assistant or a paralegal. If you want to work in the dentistry field, you should become a dental hygienist. I guess high value status occupations. But I think that's a really fantastic model that not enough women adopt because ladies will bully the woman who is the secretary who married the doctor okay, but who has the last laugh like her. In her scansion with her husband who is high and the babies like that is who has the final laugh. So now you guys know that the thing that irritated all of these modern women is that this coffee smells like shit. I am positive that it did because everything she said was completely valid, but rather than my reading them, I am going to let her react because she had the time. How do you feel about the women who are stating that this is a heartbreakingly sad situation? I mean, I don't know, I get my back blown out weekly. I have completely paid for survival and I have my own autonomy. What are your thoughts on those people? I also do my own work, so it's not like I don't see what the problem is. We enjoy this coffee, but they should question themselves why they don't have a significant other. It is not fair that women should have to alter themselves in order for men to appreciate them. This is ludicrous. I mean, it's the same type of woman who's going to argue that a man needs to change everything about himself in order to be a viable mate. So come on, preach hypocrites, preach all, let's go. So what they're saying is that you should be concerned about the possibility of being fired from your job as a housewife one day and having a job vacancy in the future. I would give anything to be a stay-at-home mom when I'm too terrified to depend on men that much. Well, if you want to continue working for the rest of your natural born life, you may continue to be fearful of being dependent on men. Again, I do my own work, so I don't understand how you can say that. Tell her that I'd like to discover I am top of mind and all good yep, and that these women applaud you for finding yourself and becoming confident in yourself, rather than needing to be submissive. She replies that she praises you for doing so. All of these dances are amazing and men want to know where they can find a woman like you. I know that I'm an outlier when it comes to statistics, but in general you can find nice women who are not corrupted by the world outside of the cities, particularly in rural areas. If they were raised in a family with two parents, are there locations where they can go to meet women? I'm talking about the entire Midwest and everything else like that. Do you think churches or other places like that would be a good place for them to go? The church is a problematic institution because of the large number of alpha males that it has generated. On the other hand, there are feminine women who attend churches. And those ladies need to be careful to ensure that they are not suffering from delusion. What do you have to say in response to the criticisms that claim this throws women's rights back half a century? I don't think so because ladies in the last 50 years were a lot leaner I don't know but I think they're mistaken Ellie. What do you tell the women who remark that this is so sad? I don't understand how they can say that. I believe it's unfortunate when people shame a lady for being married to the person she's always wanted to be married to. They want to know whether this is a joke and they're bewildered that it's not a joke. They just don't comprehend what it is that's going on. It's almost as if people, rather than attempting to grasp something that's new to them, would rather demonize it but... We did it all across the American culture, but if you people want to send me an email and ask any questions, feel free to do so. I'd be pleased to do breakdowns for you. I guarantee that the dudes are not bad. If you want to find somebody who does that for you, let me know and listen to Ali. They claim that being terrified is a legitimate fear. The trouble is, though, that most men are unable to do for you what my spouse does for me. I was a stay-at-home mom, and after my divorce, I had nothing. It's the scariest thing that could happen. But if you choose to live in fear, you'll always be living in scarcity. So even though if you've been through a divorce and you've got nothing, I would challenge you to try again at romance and see if you can do better. Why not try and see if you can do better? 
That is preferable to being by yourself. You want to know how you feel about allowing your husband to have an affair and the politically correct response is to say that if he does cheat, that is a reflection against me since. I am probably not putting out or I have given up on my looks, but my true answer is that as long as I don't know. I can't be furious, can I? What do you have to say about that? People have the impression that I am harsh on people who are single, but the reality is that nobody enjoys being single. You go to work and when you get home, there's nobody there to greet you. Some people don't even have a dog. If men don't like being single and men prefer to have sex more, then obviously women dislike being single more than men do. What do you tell the women who say their husbands aren't their bosses and there's no need to be submissive because you're a team? I can see where they're coming from, but I've found that these same women don't comprehend that point of view very often. They will put their husbands on the back burner for something more important, such as an actual boss in real life that they are required to submit to, and they will continually urge their husbands to make adjustments to their lives so that they may do so. The problem is that the man has been forgotten, he has no sexual interest in her, and she is serving him food from the microwave. If you are able to work and love your man in equal measure, then you can talk about equalizing rights. If you are able to do that, then kudos to you, but the vast majority of women can't even operate the power button on their air fryers. All what is this, the 1950s? No, it's 2022 and I hear this point a lot. It's a stupid argument, by the way, probably for somebody who wasn't even alive during that time period. The main difference between the years 2022 and 1950 is that in the 1950s, it was socially acceptable for women to stay at home and care for their children. In the year 2022, you will have the ability to choose, but I'll bet you everything that only a small percentage of women will even have the opportunity to do so. This is typically the result of careful life planning a projection that was intended to make it appear as though we were in such a terrible and miserable state. In this day and age, women are encouraged to exercise choice, and they have a lot of freedoms, yet I don't think it applies to me because I get whatever I want, I just receive it through my husband. It's kind of ironic that the same women who fight for equal rights for women are the ones who criticize other women for exercising their right to choose to be submissive to a male authority figure. It's just so funny that women try to put down other women when those women decide, hey, you know what? I actually want to depend on a man or submit to my man. The only women that are offended are the ladies who are watching her prosper and flourish for making the right decisions as always man, but I don't see anything wrong with all of information being published about how she obtained her high value man. I am interested in hearing your opinions on the matter that was discussed. I am grateful to you and I wish you serenity till the next time I am gone.